in general there is a whole revolution that is happening around crypto uh, crypto has as a use case is being sort of applied into different industries you know we are talking about you know banking defi the whole decentralized finance one of the other very important industry uh, that everybody is pretty excited about is the gaming side why because in general gaming is like one of the best use case for crypto right like because in the sense uh, this it's already virtual people are already playing it in, in almost like in metaverse uh, there's high frequency, you know, um, activity, like when I'm shooting a gun, there's so much, so many things I'm consuming my, you know, bullets, then I have to go back and buy bullets and then play the game again. And in general, there's a lot of round, there's, there's a lot of activity that happens within games. And, and when you, so to speak, uh, it is like a best use case for crypto. And what it does is uh, what we have seen in, in past two, three years is is this gives an economic opportunity uh, not uh, not to just a developer who's been building games forever but also the players who are playing this game this has never happened before right like before this it was always uh, always developer making money no matter how much you know popular the game gets and consumer gets be you know though they are paying uh, playing for hours they just spend a lot more money into it but now they can grow with the game there's a more economic opportunity to this and that is sort of you know redefining or you can say it's creating a new genre within the gaming industry called as play to earn or you know um, play and earn and and sort of like that so it's just like how we had the mobile era coming in we are seeing this coming in and i, I think uh, uh, we believe that it's going to be really big uh, in for years to come and you know sort of carve a new uh, uh, use case for crypto one and also a, a better uh, you know uh, experience for user as well. So at the very base level, what we have to understand is, you know, there's a basic uh, uh, use case of crypto, which which is within the game. So if, you know, if you're just consuming it, you're getting more bullets, or if you if you are if you are in a game simulation like farm simulation games, where you have to put water or sow seed and many things around that. Now what happens is with these assets you can now do a, a lot more things right before it was never even possible just like how in real world you can actually keep your money uh, in savings account and earn interest out of it now using these game assets you can do a bunch of things and just like how the DeFi world evolved where you had the staking and yield farming many other things that 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 sort of cropped up in in the whole uh, DeFi farm something very similar is also happening. So there's a whole financial layer, uh, you know, instruments and, you know, tools that is coming just on top of these, these tokens that we have, right? These game tokens. And that collectively is called game file. So, you know, uh, there is uh, the, the, uh, the basic is trading. There's also derivatives. There's also fractional uh, ownership that is happening within, within these NFTs. So there are like bunch of you know ideas being uh, and also being executed, which creates this financial layer on top of these assets, the underlying assets, the game assets, and that's basically collectively is called game fund. In fact, uh, you know if you see the if you see the NFT volumes that you see already, you know uh, smaller games have you know sort of. Uh, clocking high volume in these markets and just you know trading itself so like i said nfts or or crypto games or web3 games are a very good use case for crypto now when it comes to nft nft, NFT is very native to you know games in general right like so if you've been playing games you know you will be able to buy certain things within the game in app purchases that we do and that by itself is a big market. I think it's it's pretty close to say two hundred billion dollar market as in uh, in terms of revenue, and that creates the whole market cap of almost uh, you know close to a trillion dollar. So if you think about it, that is very native. People are already used to this this you know things that they can own within the game. Now what this NFT does is that you can have the ownership with you. you know, now you can either take it out of the game put it in another game if that game supports or trade it with somebody or keep it with yourself so that literally empowers a lot more user uh, in terms of ownership of these nft and the best part is it's a natural fit right everything else is not a natural fit like even in an nft for art was still a difficult uh you know uh, concept for a lot more people but nft on in game was like just very natural 
and it just sort of makes it much more uh, you know uh, widely used and and be able to scale uh, the whole ecosystem really well actually uh, what what we have seen is uh, the web3 game the crypto game has given rise to two important people as obviously the players themselves that's like goes without saying you know there has to be players who are playing the game and game has to be great but other there are other two very important people who have now come into the scene and and that is traders and as well as investors right so traders are basically who are looking at short term you know volatility within uh, the consumption of these assets you no know, if if you just if if it's a farm simulation game you would look at hey you know this particular asset has been consumed a lot more or maybe you know the season is changing so you know there will be more demand for something like this so a trader who can you know buy these assets early on and probably try to trade this now investor believes in uh, in in something more long term and if he believes that hey you know uh, slowly slowly we are trying to create an economy within the game and if it's growing you know the value of things that uh, he is holding will also grow so these are these are you know uh, the general uh, uh, mindset behind uh, these kind of folks who are now coming on to, on board and starting with the uh, small sum it started with very small small sum since 2 years 3 years and since last one year this has picked up a lot people are getting more, more serious there are institutional investors coming on board who are actually taking this uh, more seriously and trying to invest into you know these kind of assets so i think it's is just a, just the beginning of you know uh, where we sort of understand or like a sort of, like a click of you know what is going to happen uh, but again we are still very early uh, but from an investor or a trader perspective there is opportunity for them uh, to sort of you know uh, get involved in this and 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 uh, take advantage of it and one thing one thing good is infrastructure wise right in general there is a lot more um, uh, you know uh, a lot of innovation happening within the the wallet space it's right like probably in 2017 things were very difficult today things are much better there are so many wallet uh, projects that is making the the experience of using wallet much more easier not just experience but also security right in terms of how you secure the assets how you save certain things all these things are getting better uh, again you know this is the biggest challenge that everybody is trying to solve because you know just the moment you solve it you just make it much more easier for people to come on board uh start using it at the same time uh, keep it secure the best part about best it's a good and a bad from a security point of view is you're not relying on somebody else right to hold your own assets you are owner of yourself which also means you there's more responsibility on you uh, so if if you know there's a there's a whole learning curve of what are the best practices to follow to keep your things secured is is where things are Uh, there are also new new services that's that's coming up uh, in general which is helping you you know sort of storing this your assets as a custody and you know keeping for long term uh, safe so i think in general the ecosystem is getting more matured uh, things are getting much more easier things are getting more secured um, so i think uh, you know over time this will just get better only the whole web3 gaming phenomena is not right now restricted to region right so it's a very global phenomena at this point which is which is very great uh, in fact now the best part is india can participate in this uh, this economic opportunity that is there and by playing with other people right in general uh, games are very localized uh, you know when you play with uh, folks right like so it will probably just be with another indian friend and somewhere around that but here you are sort of building a bigger network which is which is more global so from that point of view the 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 300 million that you talk about is is still very small because we are talking about a global number again the whole web3 games are very very early you know we are they are hardly like you know um, they, we we have not even hit like a big number in terms of users yet but it's a growing market at this point so it's it's just getting started where people are people who are getting involved very early have definitely you know sort of reported the growth for themselves uh but again you know any industry as a start there will always be ups and downs around it and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see a more matured marking market as we as we progress uh, coming to the genres of games right so uh, in in general al- always the casual games are much more uh, used or or you know played by people and and more triple a games or games that are very strategic are usually done played by uh, you know uh, less number of people and it's it, it, it is not even 
it's not in in a web 3 thing it's a very web 2 thing or it's it's been like this forever right like uh, it's if if a game takes 5 minutes to play when i would just open my phone and just play that ludo is a game which which we all sort of know uh, have been grown into that's why it's also very popular so uh, the genres of games is is more of user selection it uh, uh, the way we are also looking at it is the, uh, we should have games which is casual to triple a games and that's that's the range that has to be filled and that's something that is also coming in web3 you know there are a lot of folks who are building towards these uh, you know uh, genres and trying to solve problems around that so the whole crypto gaming or the web3 gaming falls under the whole you know umbrella of cryptocurrency as of now so even even now uh, we are still early in terms of some regulations uh, we do have guidelines in terms of how taxation would work so uh, what applies there definitely applies here as well right uh, at this point this is a very uh, oh, you know open market uh, it's very decentralized so people have the user players them, themselves have to you know sort of report this and you know responsibly pay their uh, dues um, for for uh, you know being part of this right so uh, it's it's early but i'm pretty sure as we go ahead we'll get more clarity into uh, into these things and we we should be able to uh, sort of mature the market in the right way uh, you know when when regulations and clarity comes into uh, for the space i am a big uh, i am looking for a very good game actually so uh, luckily uh, just met for some guys who been building some games it's a shooter game a uh, little bit like battle royale royal uh, but it's, it's still not out yet so you know uh, i'll probably talk about it much later there are obviously a lot of other games that i've been seeing uh, there is a game called as crop bites which which is uh, which is more of a farm simulation so people who understand the you know basic economics of a uh, growing crops you know you know farming and everything they would they would love this game because it's just a little addictive the moment you start playing you know how 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 you can build your own farm and the best part is you know uh, if you do it really well you can you know probably uh, you know earn some, something out of it uh, but then you know these all these games are a little early but it sort of gives a signals of what is possible and how it has to be done so the other other a very important part of a problem in this whole crypto games is is protection of players right uh, that's that's very essential protection of players as well as investors because the economies that you are building within the game has to be sustainable so if if you put your money in the economy should be built such that you it doesn't crash it's the same problem that even even countries face right when the country have their own economy the reforms that they create Uh, should be something that is encouraging or uh, you know attracting uh, more producers and things around that so it's very interesting to see today there are uh, there are so many games with so many economies you know some are doing very well some are probably not doing very well after some time so it's 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 too early but we are also trying to figure out how do we solve this how do we bring this to people to give them that visibility into you know how to identify uh what is good what is not and 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 be more informed when they are when they are dealing with these things the best part is in in uh, you know 3 years back uh when when i i was very interested in the whole you know web3 and the crypto games part i used to go to a lot of these uh, studios and convince them to build for you know crypto uh it was very difficult to convince them right like but in last 2 years we are seeing everybody wants to build something on it now the best part is even the biggest titles biggest studios two smaller studios are reimagining their game with with web3 or at least have a web3 strategy that's crazy and and it has also pushed a lot more uh, you know new studios to come to build for web3 so and, and that's not just global play but also happening in india which is very exciting because you know this is this is a new space to be in and there's a lot more uh, you know uh, you know uh, people are getting uh, sort of uh, getting into building it and create more value in this eco space uh, and and that's that's amazing uh, looking forward for this when the whole crypto gaming thing started this was probably 3 4 years back i i remember seeing a lot more gambling products right when people thought about crypto it, it was more about you know somebody running a gambling project or a betting project for that matter but uh, i i think in last 2 3 years it, it has evolved i've rarely come across games that was that is around betting 
but these are very uh, you know sophisticated games just like how you play the normal game right like you have a shooting game or you have a simulation game now in that it's 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 more than i mean i would not put it as betting because now you have an economic opportunity right there by playing the game really well right so it's 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 sort of game of skill by itself uh, whether if you are if you are very good at shooting then there's a chance of you winning that uh, more than you know somebody who's not able to do that and and the the economy is built such that if you do better if you play better or if you play more is how you sort of get incentivized within within the system so i think uh, i i would definitely disagree on this part where you know it's seen as gambling and uh, but this is this is if you are a player and there are like really good games out there and it's up to you what games to pick you know you pick the games that is definitely not even close to uh, gambling and sort of uh, you know uh, build on top of it another thing i would want to add is uh, even the past right so the entire gaming ecosystem we all thought you know gaming would be about gambling more in general but uh, to be very frank the whole gaming gambling uh, games are really small portion of the entire ecosystem and usually uh, played by uh, you know uh, big folks about 30 35 year old not the youngsters guys 